what is up everybody welcome back to another Roblox scripting tutorial what if you guys today is part three of my new character customization series filtering enabled so let's get into it so um in the last episode i left you guys off with hair and in this episode we're going to be getting into hats and faces so let's get into it so first off i'm going to start with faces so you guys are of course going to be cre creating a button and I already have my button made and you're going to insert your local script into it okay local scripts and we're pretty much going to do what we did last time for any of these buttons we're just going to do this line of code right here which is scripts.parent.mouse button one click connect function open close parentheses and then put an end with a closing parentheses now in the middle of this we're going to put um, game dot replicated storage dot let's see what our what we call our folder event storage and that's where we need to go into our event storage and create a new event so in this case I'm going to be calling it face event 7 and we're going to go ahead and just call it event storage dot face event seven colon fire server open close just like that Let's see if we got that right yep oh okay instead of replicated dot storage you replicated storage I always make some sort of error but yeah once you have that you can go ahead and close that button and move over to our main script inside of service script service so let's get it let's get it going so um we're gonna go ahead and just scroll all the way down and for faces we're gonna do this so we're gonna do game dot replicated storage dot event storage dot face event seven dot on server event connect function open close and inside those parentheses you need to put PLR stands for player okay and then we're just gonna go and put an end parentheses on that and for faces you guys are actually just using a texture ID so we're just gonna go ahead and grab this here okay so what we'll basically we're I'm just gonna kind of paste it in and explain it so first thing we're gonna do is um, access our character so we do local char equals PLR dot character and then this line of code right here, if character find first child humanoid. So this basically just, you, it waits for the, um, it basically says it, it needs to find the human. <coughs> Jesus. It needs to find the humanoid before we do, we, before we change the texture of the face. So now this is where we get into <coughs> our actual texture. So we're going to do char dot head dot face dot texture equals open close quotations just like that and that's where you will put your ID now I'm just gonna go grab a random face ID for now um, let's just go ahead and grab one here <coughs> face uh, um. <coughs> let's grab uh, I really let's grab <coughs> let's grab the mustache face copy all right then you guys just simply paste that inside the quotes and you're done and also make sure to add another end with a uh, just a regular end before you do the parentheses so it should look something like this if you guys need a minute to copy um, go ahead and do so and we're just gonna go and test that really quick to make sure everything works Customize, okay. So, <clears throat> face, and yeah, we might have an error here. Fire sever, okay, that's a misspelling. So, we need to go back in our button script. Where is it? Face frame, face button five. I'm just gonna rename this button, don't worry about it face five okay and we need to go back in our button I don't know you guys may have made this mistake but it's fire server not sever I don't know why I put that but fire server 
Alright. Now, let's test. Sorry about all the coughing. I don't know what's going on right now. Boom. Oh my gosh. That, that face, though. So, as you guys can see, it should work. It should bring up your uh, face. The new face you uh, press. Alright, so let's get into hats. Hats is something that I had a few people request. So, I went ahead and threw it in. Um, so yeah, we're just going to add a new button, and we're going to call this one, in my case it's going to be hat button 3, but y'all will, will just name it whatever you want, hat button 3, um, hat 3, and we're going to add a local script inside of that, okay, and we're basically doing the same thing we always do with any of these scripts is script dot parent dot mouse button one click connect function open close parentheses and in between this is where we actually get into the uh, part we need to get it so we're gonna go replicated storage event storage and we're gonna add another hat or a hat event okay another remote event and we're gonna call it hat event y'all will call it hat event I'm gonna be calling it um, hat event 2 then we do game dot replicated storage dot event storage dot hat event and in your case it would be hat event but in my case it's going to be hat event two colon fire server make sure we get that right this time boom and then end off with an end close parentheses just like that and if you guys need a minute to copy um, there you guys go all right so now we're going to move on to our main script and let's go ahead and scroll down we're gonna go all the way to the bottom here all right so hats actually work very similar to um, um, hair so we're just gonna go and get right into it so we're gonna do game dot replicated storage dot event storage dot hat events to dot on server event connect function plr and okay so now we're just going to go ahead and access our local storage here and before we get into that we're just going to go ahead and create a new folder in replicated storage called hats and I'm going to be using this cowboy hat for my example today so you guys can use whatever hat I will link some uh, hats in a model in the description but I'm just going to use this cowboy hat and you guys only need the mesh inside of the handle or part so you just drag it right into replicated storage in your hats folder and you're done now we go back to the script and now we're gonna access that so we're basically we're gonna do game dot replicated storage dot hats dot hat 3 and that's hat 3 would be whatever you named your hat so in my case it's hat 3 now we're gonna do local char equals plr dot character that accesses our character and now we do um, if char find first child humanoid. Uh, okay, I don't know why that's doing that. Then local folder equals char dot head dot hats. Okay, and actually this is where we're going to need to uh, go over to our other script and service script service called folder create. And we're going to do another instance dot new. So I'm just going to repeat it here, but we're going to do local folder equals instance dot new um, open close parentheses quotations folder, just like that. Then we're going to go down two lines, go folder dot parent equals char dot head, and then folder dot name equals quotations hats just like that and I already have it in there but yeah that's what you guys will do it's just that line of code right here and that creates a folder inside of our head called hats and this is where and this is where we will be storing the hats like we store the hair in our head okay so now you have that uh, folder we're gonna do folder colon clear all children so if there's any hats already in there we're gonna get rid of them just like that. And then we're gonna do local head equals char dot head, uh, local new underscore hat equals storage colon clone 
then we do new underscore hats dot parents equals holder new underscore hats dot position equals head dot position then we do local wells now we're going to get into the actual weld of the hat instance dot new uh, open close parentheses quotations weld then we do weld dot parent equals new underscore hat just like that we're going to scroll down there and weld dot part zero comma weld dot part one equals head comma new underscore hat and then we do weld dot c zero equals c frame dot new and this is where it kind of gets um, a little bit weird so we're just going to start off with a zero um, dash one or not dash but a comma one comma zero um, and you may have to adjust this in a minute and you'll see why so now we're going to go down one last line welds dot c1 equals head dot hat attachment dot c frame boom and just add one more end there and that should be it so now this is where it kind of uh, and one thing we need to change is uh, the C frame if it's not in the correct position. So let's just go and see if it's in the correct position by testing. And we'll just do that now. Customize hat three. And as you guys can see, it's kind of like on the eyes. And but there's an easy way to move that up. So you guys just gonna go back to your main script and go into C frame. And this middle one is the height of your part. So you, um, we're just gonna try 1.3 and see if that fixes the height of our hat to where it looks proper on our head. Customize hat three. And look at that, it does. We could even go a little lower if we wanted to, but I like the way it's positioned on the head. Um, and again, this goes for anything you weld to the body. The C framing is really easy to use. You know, you have your, your, um, your height in the middle and then your other two like right and, I don't even know what they are, right and left? X, Y, Z coordinates, essentially, so. So yeah, you guys can kind of fool around with that, get your correct position for your hat. Again, I will link these hats in the description, but that's it for hats, and uh, yeah, that should, be it. Um, that should be it for everything. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at our final product. Or not our final product, wait, no. What we got so far with this whole series is pretty amazing. Um, so let's begin customizing. We're just gonna do green skin color, a uh, different shirt, maybe some different pants, um, a face, let's see which face I want. I'm going to do the mustache face just because it's kind of funny. Uh, okay, then we're going to do, yeah, I like that hair. Maybe we could do the cowboy hat with it or top hat maybe. Those are hats I already had in here, so uh, we're, we'll try the black hair. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. We got our nice character customized. And we click play and we're ready to walk around all styling with this cowboy hat. So let's, uh, I, will get, I will go ahead and see you guys next time. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the series, and make sure to join the Discord. I will link it below. Very important that you join the Discord. I, I provide help if you guys have any errors. Um, and if you guys are looking to learn scripting, I'm also always helping out people with problems and helping them learn scripting. So I will see you all later. Peace out. And I'll see you guys in, next, in the next part for Data Store.